Welcome to my continuing saga about the mice in my house, or the mouse. I don't know how many are left. It seems to me that for the past many months, we have caught probably, I think, five, but it's hard to tell because sometimes they look the same. Now, what we did is we started off by uh, catching them and putting them in here, and then when spring came, we let them outside. So I guess there was a whole family in my house. And how we were catching them was with this little mouse trap here. So how it works is that this goes on top. And sorry for those of you who already heard this explanation, but this is how it goes, okay. So this is the little mouse trap. So the mouse goes in here. Okay, I'll take off the lid to show you better. So the mouse goes in here. And when they step on this lever, they go in here and they find the delicious peanut butter that we left. They absolutely love peanut butter and they love sunflower seeds. And then this little lever goes up so they can't come back out, right? So they're, they're stuck in there. And then the lid goes on like this. You see it, it kind of slides on and then it's, it's stuck like that, you see? But look how clever they are. What they've done is, first of all, they have tried they knew there was peanut butter in there they didn't really know how to get in there at first so they tried to bite here and then other times you can see that they they tried to get to the peanut butter here until they realized oh wait a second there's a door here so then they ended up going in here but when they're in there look what they've done if you look at this the top here they've chewed this whole part here this used to be flat and they've chewed this whole thing so that when they're inside they learned that they can put their little tiny paw in there and they can push down on the lever and get out. You see, this goes like this, right? So they, they realize that if they eat the top plastic, they can put their little tiny paw in here and just crawl out somehow, I guess this, and then this part is kind of not, I guess they balance themselves. They go here, they go there, and then when they're there enough, they go, oh, and it lets them right out. So anyway, all this to say that this trap was great for a while and then it stopped being useful. Well, at first I used to think also they, they somehow managed to like squeeze out the top here. So I had about four different elastics on there to make sure that they wouldn't get out. But I could not figure out for the longest time how they were getting out of here because I saw clearly the peanut butter was all eaten. And there were also little specks all in here of different plastic, that residue that they left. So we thought we were being really smart. So yesterday, here's what we came up with. We came up with this new trap. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but guess what? There's no mouse in there. I'll tell you what though, a mouse came. Oh my God, are they smart. So you see here, we built this little ramp, right? Like, come on, little mousey, come over here. Come on this little wire and come and get some peanut butter. And the idea was that, we well, could see they did eat the peanut butter, they or one, I don't know, came and ate the peanut butter. And the idea was that they were supposed to, this thing is supposed to be wobbly and shaky and they were just gonna fall down. Well, that actually worked. He or she or them did fall down. And you can see we put this kind of like, this sort of carpet here folded and it's kind of fluffy so that we thought, well, I mean, at least they won't hurt themselves too much when they fall right we didn't want to want to the idea is we don't want to hurt the mice we want to release them outside so this morning i noticed that oh we got a mouse somebody came clearly and we also left them more seeds in this container which you can see are all gone and look at the little mouse poop that they left behind this is all little mouse poop and we gave them some water so the mice came in the middle of the night had a great feast of a ton of peanut butter and some sunflower seeds and I thought, honestly, that when I was gonna, when I was opening this up, that there was gonna be a mouse hiding under here because you can see. I'll show you at the camera. You can see there's like a little opening there. Wait, can you see? Hold on. Move the camera this way. You can see that the way it's folded, that it's kind of like folded up. So I thought they would be hiding in there, he or she or them. So. I opened this up really slowly and was just thinking, okay, I'm gonna see a mouse in there. Ta-da! And then no mouse. So the little monkeys got in here, got a free meal, left a bunch of poop behind, and somehow managed to climb out the sides. So now what we have to do is we have to put some sort of grease or oil around the sides of this whole thing, or buy a new version of this trap. So that is the update here at my house. 
that's what we're faced with right now. We're trying to figure out what to do. And, oh, Bella wants to come inside. Hey, Bella. Hey, Bella. Come on in. So that's our update today. Thank you so much for watching and following along. We will let you know what happens in the future with the mice in our house. Say bye-bye, Bella. Bye-bye. Doot, 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 doot.